Hello and welcome to the Rebel Rehab channel. My name is Daniel. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. I'm very thankful for your tuning in. So today is just a bit of a like a vlog, right? So we are on the way to Line Clear Express, Clear Line Express. Yeah, whatever it is, whichever it is, we are here in Semambu Kuantan. We're going to go and get the bike. So if you look to our left, yeah, the kedai, the shops. Basically, it's an industrial area, and we're just going to collect my motorbike. Yeah, it's been waiting for me for three days, and I cannot wait. Aha! Yeah, we have a monk driving us. Ah, monk grab driver, Sami, Sami, really blessed today. So nothing much. We are waiting for Ain. Ah, she, she's the one doing the processing. We're just waiting for the paperwork, and we're going to get the bike. Alright, jom jalan-jalan a bit. Ah, uh, here we are. We're gonna go get a bike. Thank you, Ain. And woohoo! Look at that beautiful baby. Yeah, my baby. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh my. So she's wrapped up like a Christmas present. I'm sorry we don't have the unwrapping video because I was just too excited. I didn't bother taking a video. Ah, uh, here we are. My baby's back in the van. So that is Inche Faidi. He'll be the one responsible for modifying the bike. We're not doing much. We're just doing what's what's within my means, like you know. As for now, you know, I don't have much money, but Inche Faidi, he knows what's best. So okay, up, up, ah, all right. So Inche Faidi's been uh, modifying bikes for the past past few years. He started out, I believe, somewhere in 2013, 20, 2012. Previously, he was customizing cars, and he now he decides to customize bikes. Well, uh, specifically like choppers, uh, cruisers, easy riders, even cafe racers. He is he is a master at his craft. So, if you are ever in Kuantan and you want to do something with your bike, well, let me know. I'll I'll hook you up with Inche Faidi. He is he is a great guy. He's really a nice guy, you know. Uh, when I was waiting for him, he called me up and he's like, hey. Now I ate that, which basically means like, do you want a drink? And I'm like, yeah, sure, you know, copy ice, so yeah, iced coffee. So here we are, here we are on the way to Inche Faidi's workshop, which is about 10-15 minutes from Line Clear Express. It's a beautiful place, actually. I believe we are somewhere um, between Semambu and Basura in Kuantan. So it's a nice place filled with trees. The air is fresh, you know, trees everywhere. So it's just oxygen everywhere there's not much pollution as you can see the sky is beautiful so we're just passing by I'm just waiting basically I was just so excited I just couldn't contain my excitement I just wanted to take video of everything and oh banana haha <laughs> banana so if you see on your left side that is a barber that's a hipster hipster barber so if you want to get some nice uh, shades get some lines done on your head yeah so we are close by so it's a nice little kampung a little a village in kuantan and here we are here we are at inchek faidi's workshop it doesn't look much but damn i tell you good shit so i believe that's a modernas jago that is also a modernas jago uh, it's beautiful bikes, big bikes all around, and this is, I believe, a Yamaha Virago, 500 cc. So yeah, his his workshop is just filled with bikes. Ah, la, brem brem brem. Ha, doing what he does best. Right, just following him. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's just natural. Alright, so Inche Faidi is doing a little checkup, and you know someone is really good at what they do when they don't look like they're doing much at what they do. Alright, Payung Skit is just checking out the sound, and you know someone's a master when you know he has a cigarette in his mouth and he's just doing his thing. Same thing like those guys selling chicken rice, you know, when they have a cigarette in their hand or a cigarette in their mouth and they're sweating while they're chopping their chicken, you know, the chicken is good. <laughs> Alright, so I uh, wanted to put the Sportster headlamps, uh, headlamps, I'm sorry, cowl, uh, fairing, yeah. It's beautiful, I really like the, uh, I really like the design, however, um, it, was, it didn't fit properly, so I believe Inchek Faidi told me to, in the future, in the near future, to change the headlamps, 
and here we have one guy I don't remember his name but he writes a Dynaglide Harley Davidson Dynaglide and more kitty cat because cats are awesome dogs are also awesome animals are awesome in general they don't judge you and they just love you unconditionally so here's the view from the riders um, riders seat her riders point of view so she really looks like an iron 883 from my point of view and more kitty cat because this baby is uh, he just wants affection and yeah <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, um, the absorber is different. That is a KYB Jago absorber, so it's shorter. I believe somewhere in about 300mm. And in Shape 5 is just setting it up, he just wants to check the length. So why we put on the KYB Jago absorber is because it's shorter. Yeah, it's not as long as the original uh, K-Lite absorber. So I want both my feet on the ground and we wanted the bike to have that I'm not so vertical look because if you are using the stock uh, absorber the back the rear is actually pretty high so with this one on the rear is shorter as compared to the front so kind of gives you that chopper look ish yeah we just wanted the front higher so yeah let's I was just fiddling around with the controls I wasn't really familiar with it so yeah forgive me about that so I didn't know what I was doing, I was just pressing around and finally got it started. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Uh, let's give some ref uh, ref bomb. <laughs> uh, as you can see the KYB Jago, well it's not in its best condition, but we just wanted to see how it would feel. So I believe this was the Virago, the Yamaha Virago, 500cc, 2 cylinder, beautiful girl. And back to my baby. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're planning to lift the tank up. As you can see, the side mirrors are down. Different absorbers. So here I am just fiddling around, finally kind of got comfortable. And that's about it. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. I finally got it started so thank you very much for tuning in so when the bike's ready I'll make more videos and thank you so yeah that's all bye bye